Hello to all the DIYers, hobbyists and all the random people that's checking in on this channel to see what I'm going to build today. In this video, I am going to show you how we built this absolute massive beast of a 4 meter long epoxy table. This is our biggest table we built to date and we are really excited. And I'm going to take you on this journey and show you exactly how we got to this point. So starting off with this 4 meter beast is the designing part of this project and to actually see where we're going to cut our slab in half to build this beautiful beautiful table and using my Festool track saw with my Festool track made this cut extremely easy cutting this massive piece of slab in half and to all the people out there that's following me that's saying I am not talking at all that I need to talk more in my videos and to all the people out there that says I'm talking too much please give me a recommendation if you had a YouTube channel what would you have done if you sit for the same scenario please help leave me a comment down below what should I do should I talk more should I talk less should I talk at all should I don't talk <laughs> if you guys could help me out but for this video I'm just going to talk the whole video so what I'm basically doing now is I am sealing my edges and this is an old method we used uh, we are moving to a complete new method and I will explain this to you later on but what we are basically doing here is we're sealing our edges with epoxy then we're going to wait for the epoxy to dry then we're going to scuff it up with a steel wire brush and the reason why we're doing this is to reduce bubbles but a new method we're using is we will seal our edges with epoxy we will put it in our epoxy mold we will wait for the epoxy to become tacky and then only will we cast our epoxy Moving to the next part of this video and that guy with a Hawaiian t-shirt is my little bro. I think he just wants to be in the YouTube video. So shout out to little Nate bro. Yo, yo. <laughs> it's my little brother. It's not that little anymore. But anyway, he helped me out for the day. Anyway, putting this 4 meter beast in the mold wasn't the easy task at all and the advice I want to give you is when you do this, make sure you cut your slab slightly slightly smaller because it's super easy to remove the silicone inside your mold if you're going to place your slab in its correct place. Moving to the best part of this video is pouring the epoxy and the client specifically asked that he wants a frost smoky black finish and we done a total of three layers of epoxy we casted for this project and honestly do have to say i am super super happy with the color and the client was also happy how this color came up and as you see my phone there if you guys didn't know i actually do have a facebook page and an instagram page you can go and check it out diy with greg where we post a lot of content and where we make a lot of content we also do have another channel that's actually our custom furniture company called craft house i am going to leave a link down in the description of all these details where you can find us but we do actually have another company where we actually manufacture custom furniture and we just record everything for the YouTube channel. So I will leave a link down in the description where you can find both companies details and make sure to go and follow us there. So 
So little Nate back again in action, making sure he captures every moment to post on our social media pages to keep everyone informed of what we're doing on a daily basis. Moving to the next step of this project, I gathered every single person I could find in a radius of a hundred meter to help me load this table on my trailer to take it to our CNC supplier to flatten the slab on top and at the bottom to make sure the wood surface and the epoxy surface is actually level both sides of this table. And yes, this table ended up weighing between 500 and 700 kilogram. So if you guys didn't know, we actually do have a online epoxy masterclass. It's about three hours long, going into detail on how we build and manufacture all our tables, where I'm going to teach you and show you all our methods and techniques, our tips and tricks, show you all the tools you're going to need, all the equipment, the material you're going to need to build a epoxy table successfully down in the description of this video you're going to find a link that's going to take you to our online shop where you can find and buy this online epoxy table masterclass here is a short preview of what you can expect in this masterclass welcome to this online epoxy masterclass moisture content you hit right into the core of wood species to remove the bark with an aggressive steel wire brush table design slab preparation building process epoxy mold release agent wax calculate epoxy seven eight so we got 16 points mixing epoxy color consistency whether to seal your life edges or not pouring epoxy Sanding between layers, sanding grooves inside your epoxy, dealing with bubbles. Maximum depth curing time. Removing the table from your mold. A local CNC supplier. Start sanding. Cutting your table to size and edge. Filling the cracks and holes. Smoky finish, high gloss see-through finish. Wood surface finishing, tabletop supports. To drill into our wooden section, our online epoxy masterclass is finally here. It's four hours of masterclass where I'm going into detail on how we build all our epoxy tables. Where I'm going to teach you from start to finish how to build a epoxy table successfully. I'm going to show you all our methods and techniques we take in our everyday business building epoxy tables successfully. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find the details on how to purchase this masterclass. You don't want to miss this one. Now that being said, moving back to the video, we are busy giving our table a small 45 degree chamfer right around to make sure your table is not going to sit with that sharp edge and we like to give our tables a 45 degree chamfer on both sides on top and at the bottom 
just a small little 45 degree chamfer and by doing this I am just using my Festool OA 1400 router best investment ever made and it reduces the dust so much as you can see here, there's almost absolutely no dust when using this machine actually do get an additional cover you can add on at the bottom of your router to make sure there's literally zero zero dust but I didn't use this for this project now just moving to the micro micro cracks and using some small super glue and we actually do have a new method we discovered a quick set epoxy which sets in approximate 10 seconds when it gets in contact with UV light so we completely moved away from the super glue method and you will also find this in the master class we presented earlier on yet again gathering every single person I could find in a hundred meter radius to flip this baby around actually was flipped around then we flipped it on top then we flipping it now again because we received our powder coated steel legs so now I'm just basically preparing to drill all the holes for our steel legs to fasten our table to our steel legs Just adding a small one-sided carpet so I make sure that when I place my steel legs on top of my wood and my epoxy that the steel is not going to scratch any surface because we already done all this work and we don't want to screw it up now. Placing the legs on the underside of our table, spacing it in the correct spacings to make sure it's actually square and marking exactly where I need to drill to add my threaded inserts using a black marker and just repeating this step to all the holes on our base plates on our table. Using a 10 millimeter wooden bit with a small masking tape on to make sure I don't drill through my table. This trick is going to help you to drill to the correct depth. And the threaded inserts we use, make sure to use steel threaded inserts instead of alloy or brass or whatever the case may be. And just continuing making sure we close all the small little imperfections on our table. Moving to the next step, we are going to finish sanding our table. And to achieve a frost smoky finish, we're going to sand up all the way to a 320 grit. Then we're going to move to a scorch pad make sure we remove all the swirl marks our sanding machine made and the sanders we use we will normally start off with a Festool Rotex machine that's to remove all the CNC lines the CNC machine made then we will move on to a finishing sander now our finishing sander we use is a ETS 5 it's got a very stable shaft and it can graft for a long period of time without getting warm just to give you a good idea this little ETS sometimes run for around about five to six to seven hours per day, every day, and it's just an absolute beast. Now, I'm just busy routering the top of our table, giving it a small 45 degree chamfer, like I mentioned before. Just want to take this opportunity. If you guys haven't already, please like this video, 
subscribe to our channel and comment down below what do you guys think of this project and give me your honest opinion thanks This was the scorch pad I was telling you about. It's got a very soft surface and we normally, when we achieve a frost monkey finish, we will use a scorch pad. Our face tool scorch pads was actually finished so I had to make a plan. And I think these scorch pads is from Merca. And I think it's equivalent to about 360 or 380 grit sandpaper. But what makes this nice it's it's a spongy type of sandpaper scorch pad and it's going to remove all the swirl marks from your table moving to the absolute last step of this project and that's to oil your project and as you can see i already oiled my table without recording it so this was the following day coming with our odys oil with our second coat of oil using a old sander on a very low rpm the lowest rpm and what i like about this method is the vibration of the machine actually massages the oil into the wood and the grain and the one thing i like about odys oil is you can sand your wood up to higher grits meaning this project we sand it up to 320 grit which gives you a super super smooth surface and yeah enjoy the final product let me know what you guys think cheers